This may be one of the best additions that I've purchased for my home gym in quite some time. That's right, the Instar Resistance Bands Bar, alongside some other additions such as the Step Platform and the Triangle Links that I put with the Instar Bar, have really changed the game with how I use resistance bands in my home workouts. While this will be a 30-day review on the Instar Bar itself, Know that I did add those additions to help enhance it even further to take my resistance bands training to the next level and add in some great exercises that I was missing out before. It uses what is called variable resistance, meaning that as you stretch the band further in the exercise, it gets harder to do. So you're not always at the same resistance because you're changing that the total force or resistance against the band the more you stretch it or the more it's not stretched in each exercise. This bar is great for getting past many of the sticking points of your lifts. For example, things like the deadlift. Many people, when they get really tired, will struggle to get that off the floor and make their back be a big priority in terms of getting hurt. Because when you start to get really tired, you might start rounding your back and lifting heavier weights may end up getting you injured and hurting your back is probably the one of the worst things you could do ever when lifting. This is also similar to something like a bicep curl where when you're doing the actual curling, many people get stuck at the very bottom or beginning of the bicep curl where when they get to the top, now they don't really have all the resistance anymore because with a bar or dumbbells, you lose all of that downward force that doesn't change. Whereas when you have resistance bands, most people can get past that sticking point because it's the least amount of force and then they can get up to the peak contraction phase where it's the hardest to do the actual lift. So that's one of the main benefits of using resistance bands. I think you can intermix both and do just fine, uh, but this is why I'm using it because it allows me to get a lot more resistance that I'm missing otherwise in my training, and the bar really helps me do that with my loop style resistance bands. So I purchased the Instar Resistance Bands Bar back on January 24th of 2021 from Amazon.com. The purchase price of this bar was $54.90 which is kind of pricey, but not really for something that can withstand 800 pounds of force. It is 38 inches in length, so it is pretty wide, honestly, to use for a bar, um, but just know, and it, I think it weighs only like maybe a couple pounds. It's pretty light overall. It's not that heavy to lift, so you could definitely use like something like the easiest band and the bar if you're someone who's not too strong yet, but just know, um, I really have enjoyed this bar. It really feels very sturdy to use in my hands, has nice padding and grip, even allows me to know where I'm placing my hands because the grip where it comes in, I can use that as a, like a point on the bar itself to position my hands appropriately. So there's a lot of pros I love about this bar and it's really done a great service in terms of, again, allowing more resistance for my home workouts. Now, as I am using loop style resistance bands, I did have to buy two triangle links. I'll put a link in the description to those if you'd like. They can lift something like 13,000 plus pounds, so I'm not snapping those. The bar is definitely gonna break before I break those uh, triangle links. Um, and then again, of course, I have the bands themselves. So I'll put all that in the description if you wanna check out all the items I'm using. But this bar so far has been excellent. But let's jump into the cons as I've praised this enough. Let's take a look at some of the things I would change with the bar if I could, or if they make new versions down the road. So first off, I want it to be a bit shorter. I don't like that it's 38 inches in the length. It's just too wide. I don't need all of that extra space outside of my shoulders. I wish it was maybe just either shoulder width or just beyond shoulder width. Not as small as the X3, which is like 19 inches. Maybe somewhere around 24, 25 inches. I feel like it would be just perfect. That allows me to do something like get my hands out away from me if I'm doing something like overhead press in a better position for me. Or if I'm doing something like chest pressing with them. It just makes it a more stable position to have it a little wider than my shoulders, but not something where it's way out there because I feel like it just makes it a little more awkward to use and it just takes up extra space I don't really want it to be doing in the first place. Also, if they can make some attachments for the loop bands themselves, like the triangle links that I can then use, that would be great. The main problem I have with my current ones is that at the very top of the triangle, it's too close to where it loops back over. So sometimes if you have too much of a gap with the opening of my triangle links, the bar will actually come out from the link itself, if you're, only if you're putting it down. If there's tension on this at all, it's not coming off. It's gonna be pushing uh, or pulling down the D-link section so it can't come off at all. But just know when I put it down on the ground in between sets, sometimes it comes out, which can be annoying. It's again, a very small inconvenience 
and I'm just making a kind of a big deal out of it. But if they could make one that didn't do that, that would be amazing for some device like this. Using this alongside the step platform that I purchased has been excellent. Now the step itself, I wish was about half the height, but it allows me to actually get some stretch in the band when doing the actual exercises anyway, so I don't have to pre-stretch it as much, which makes this a lot easier to use as well. The step is pretty plasticky in general, so maybe they can make it a tougher material if they wanted to make one of their own, but it would be a great addition to sell with this bar if they could. Again, this would be an addition to having the Instar bar itself, but it would be cool to see them add in in the future. I really don't have that much to say that's bad about the Instar bar versus how wide it is and then making additional attachments for it. Otherwise, this thing has been excellent. I really can't make any other changes. The width feels perfect for my hand size. Um, the bars works very well. It can hold up to 800 pounds of force. The price seems pretty appropriate for something that can withstand that force as well and the material used. So I really can't complain too much there. So there's not really too much I can go against this bar with. Just a few minor adjustments and I think it would be absolutely perfect for anything I want to do in my home gym. By the way, if you do make like a 24 to 25 inch version, I will instantly buy it even if it's something like $80 because I really feel like it could take my gym even further than it is now. So with that, I would definitely 100% buy this bar again. Now I am probably gonna test some other ones against it just to see if there's anything out there that even comes close to this bar. But based on what I've seen on Amazon at least, this one easily takes the cake. Either they don't uh, withstand as much resistance, they're the same width or something like that, maybe they're too thick of the handle, they don't have the proper attachments I'm looking for, something like that always keeps me from buying another version. So this one really is top dog that I've seen out there right now. I'm going to keep looking, but I would, if you are looking for a home gym and some resistance band bar to make your own X3 style bar, this may be the best bar that you can buy on the market today. And with that, that is my 30 day review of the Instar bar while adding in my other pieces that make it really an X3 bar. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please like and subscribe to GamerBody for more review videos just like this one. So with that, thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.